Hello, everyone. Welcome to another season of Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 19, experimental build, day one, time for some zombie action, you guys. Good to be back in Seven Days to Die. Going to go through and kind of see what's changed in this new in this new alpha build. I can tell you already, um, it's possible just where I'm at... Everything looks a little bit more colorful, a little bit more saturated in the colors. Like the greens look really good. Uh, so far, it looks like they've done some changes to to the images. It looks good. It's looking good so far. I really like the look of it. We'll see if it if it plays a little bit better. If they've been working on, you know, how how the game runs, and we're gonna get started. So I decided I spawned right here. This is where I spawned. So there's the stuff you do first and right there where the x is that building right there that's the local trader so i'm i went over there marked it came back here i thought about setting up a little house and i think maybe why we should do this because there's a town right here now usually like day one you know you don't usually go into a town you usually stay on the outskirts maybe find a single a single house or something like that but you don't usually go into a town. But since we're here, I'm gonna build a little temporary. You know, a lot of times I've been getting away from building building right away, but I'm gonna build something temporary. We'll take a look at the town, like the outskirts of the town and see if uh, maybe there'll be a, a place we can take over. Like lately I've been really liking the, uh, what is that? I've been liking the post offices for my, my own little place. I like those. So we'll see. We'll see what's in town. I'm um, really interested. Now, now, look, some people, they like to get all the information they can up front. Uh, for me, I like to wait and see. I don't know if there's new POIs. Uh, there's definitely definitely some changes that's happened. But POI, point of interest, you know, like the different buildings, um, things like that. So we'll see. Let's see. Let's make ourselves a door. Make ourselves a secure door. We don't have any metal or anything like that yet. We got all of our basics. Put that down. Should really upgrade these a little bit so they can't <laughs> they can't just see me in there. What if I'm changing? <laughs> hey, that guy's got no pants on. Well, that might that might scare him off actually. Maybe the ladies might come in, but everybody else is gonna get scared off. Now uh, the intro screen, just waiting to load into the map, was pretty cool. They, they've they got some new intro screens. They almost look like uh, high res, like a higher resolution um, screen. And I thought I might have seen some new zombies in there. And I can tell you this. That trader over there, her name is Jen. She's a new she's a new trader. Unless in all my other worldly travels through 19 seasons, all the alpha seasons of Seven Days to Die, I never ran across Jen the Trader. But there is Jen the Trader, and she seems really nice. Uh, I think I might be hanging out with her a little bit. Maybe we could survive the zombie apocalypse together, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody needs friends, right? We're gonna, I'm just going to finish up this basic thing. What I'm going to try and do, I, we'll see how the time goes. It looks like it's going to get dark on us quick. Um, if I remember correctly, you guys, was it this game that you said if you put out torches, it draws them in? So maybe we'll just use a campfire inside for our light. What if you put a torch, like, what if I put a put torch down the street? So anyone who, um, I think I might have some, yeah, more wood in here. Anyone who comes up here, like, they'll get attracted to that? I don't know, would that work? It could. I better get some more wood before this runs out. Oh, I hear people around. Are you guys excited? I know most of the people who watch my channel really, you know, we all love uh, open world survival crafting games whether it's zombies or bandits you name you name your adversary in the game it doesn't really matter the point is we all really like these kind of games and you know 
Seven days, I think, I'm gonna say about over the last five alpha updates have made some really cool things. One thing I did hear, and this is, uh, this is pretty cool. One thing I did hear about some of the changes um, was, uh, let's see, was that some of the perks, I think, I'm pretty sure some of the perks were basically not being used because no one wanted to put, hold on. No one wanted to put points into them. So I think they, they shrunk, may either they shrunk down the perk list, we'll take a quick look at it. Maybe we'll do that when it gets dark. Maybe we'll do that when it gets dark. What is that? Oak seeds, oh, to plant. You can see how they've changed some of these thingies. I haven't even killed a zombie yet. Look at that guy down the street. Is that the big dude? He looks like he's lost some weight. You know the big sloppy dude? Not the Hawaiian shirt guy. Those guys are really freaking out over there. Well, they, I've seen some movies where... What were those movies? The one... The girl wears a mask. What is the one where... She, oh, I can't think of the name. Yeah, they, they, the zombies, like, they did the, they, like, freaked out. They were running their hands over their heads, and it's almost like they were hearing things, and it was really bothering them, so they would block their ears. Almost done, skis. Look, I, in, in a lot of the past seasons, I've skipped this. I did, we just get right into it, but this is a major part of it, and just to get a, just to get something going like this, I think is cool. All right, we got some wood left. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen because they indented into the ground. All right, that's okay. Now I'm just doing grade one, you know, upgrades here. If this is a more permanent, semi-permanent base, I would definitely upgrade. But what we try and do the first couple of nights is just survive. Um, uh, you know what I'm thinking is, one good thing to do is to get yourself an exit other than the door. This will be a good one here. All right, let's make um, let's make some ladders, right? Ladder time. Uh, just give me about four. Make ourselves a little exit here. Right. Zoop. Okay. That's good. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's make a trap door. Uh, are they not call them trap doors? What were those things called? The little door thingies. Wooden hatch. All right, we'll make a wooden hatch. Now, I don't know if we can, if it'll let us, where's that going? It's going all the way down there. Yeah, that'll work. We could take that, that away then. Okay, cool. Hopefully I can climb up and out of this. Yes, we can. Okay, so there's our escape. There's our escape plan. And then I will make another secure chest and move that one. Now at the trader, I actually found a. Um, I actually found in the, in the forge that was there was a forge schematic. So, I'm not sure if that's something new. Oop! I just punched that. That was me. I didn't remember if there you could hold E and and I was just playing Hold Your Own, another survival crafting game where you could pick up stuff. Now, I really like that feature. Say you built a temporary place here, and maybe just down the street you built something else. You could actually, you don't have to remake it or tear it down or any of that stuff. You can pick up your machines and all that stuff and just move them. I kind of like that idea. All right, we've got 54 arrows. That should be good for now. Let's put the, we don't need to carry this stuff with us. Let's take a look at this. So, this is a note from the Duke of Nazgame. 
What does it say? I want to read it. I can't read it. Hey, I can't do anything with this. All right, the note will have to wait. So apparently, I, I don't know if it's a if it's a thing, but <laughs> I am the Duke of New York. I'm a number one. That was that was back in the uh, the original Escape from New York. All right, let's test out our bow skills. Construction worker. I'm trying to get a little bit closer look and see. It looks like. Yeah, the models have changed a bit. Look at his face. Look closely at the mouth. You can see teeth in there. Oh. This is why, you know, a bow is good because of range, for range, day one. But, you know, a good club, a good club seems to do it. Look at this. Look at the amount of arrows. This is, he's almost like taking a... Almost like he has armor on. All right, I had 50 arrows. Look at it, he's got a full set of teeth. He's got a full set of teeth. How often do you see zombies that take care of themselves like that, right? All right, we need to, we need to get some stuff. I need to make something better. This bow is gonna get us killed. I made a wooden club, but man, all right, I know this place is going to be chock-a-block full. Now, I put some of my my perks. I, I got four perks when, when you finish the intro, and I put them in, let's see, I definitely put one here, healing factor, which isn't really anything yet. It will be. I put one here, run and gun. If I do get a gun, because I don't like that slow reload. Um, and I put one here. I think... Pack Mule. I put one in Pack Mule. So I opened up uh, these three more slots. Do they min... Oh, I didn't know if they... All right. This place is chock-a-block full of fools, but this right here, that door right there, that's where the loot is. I can't get in there. I'm just looking to see if... Now, last season, Alpha 18 season, I started off with them sprinting. And this one is set uh, to higher difficulty, but it's it's set for them to walk and not sprint during the day. I remember... I remember going in here and them falling from the ceiling. This is... Oh, I was going to say, that's as fast as I can move. I was I was crouched. Butcher Pete's. Does, can you guys tell? Like, everything looks a little bit more colorful. A little bit more... We call this saturation is the depth of the colors. Just looking that way. Look at the the red in Butcher Pete's and the red in in that uh, village over there. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. See, when you get in, oh, there's the big boy. When you get in like the um, desert areas and the derelict areas and those fire areas, all those areas, they're always really you know apocalyptic looking, which is fine, but. It's nice to escape to an area that's like a green zone, right? It may not be safe. It's not that it's safe, but it's it looks good, right? All right. Now, I think they may have changed something with the food, too, because, look, the way they did it before... The way it was before... Um, it was okay. Then they changed it to where everything gives you food poisoning except canned foods. What did that do? Well, that took out hunting. Like, completely took hunting out of the game. So, they may have changed something with that. We'll see. We will. We shall see. Lady. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, she's... It's so weird right now, you guys. I'm so used to them in full run mode. And as we get to maybe... 
Uh, just a couple days in, I will be able to change them to run mode. Like, if I get a pistol or something, yeah, we want to we wanna increase their speed because it's amazing how slow they are. I've been playing... I've been playing actually sprint, daytime sprint, for the last couple of seasons. And I say seasons, I mean alpha 18, alpha 17, alpha... Did you see her start to... Oh, shoot. Did you see her start to move faster? Yeah. That's like run. I play normally at the next speed up. Okay, it's nighttime. I should not be out here. I don't have a torch or any... All right, I... I made a mistake. I haven't been paying attention. It is definitely the depth of the shoot. The depth of the colors is definitely better. I'm in trouble. I wasn't watching the time tick away, you guys. There's zombies there. I'm running out of stamina. I might have to play the crouch game. You know what? Get some cotton. I only have um, plant fiber shirt and plant fiber pants on. That's what the it starts you off with. It used to be like a whole thing. I'm hoping it's not too dark for you guys right now. Okay, there's that building. So that means my place is right over here. I've never done this. I've never tried crouching and to stay to stay safe so what isn't there a there was a ninja perk before lurker specialized in sneaking around in the dark hide in the shadows 13 point of noise actions are muffled sneak move is there we go we just spent that one point on lurker i'm a lurker apparently So I've always shown people, I didn't have a lot of time during the day here because I did, I got some of that, the tedious stuff out of the way before we, that's a wolf. Oh, shoot. What is that? That's ore right there. I'm not hitting it, dude. There's a wolf right there. There's a wolf right there between me and my house. Oh, shoot. I don't want to die day one. I'm really liking the look of the colors. I know it's not going to come through as good at nighttime for you guys, but there's, there's some definite saturation and contrast going. Seriously, dude? I've never done this. I've never tried the sneak game in this. I've always tried shotgun to face. Because it's fun. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. She just killed that wolf. That's a different looking zombie, too. Okay. We're going to try and get in here. It's day one. Day, day one, you guys. All right. I know it's dark, so bear with me. Let's do this, okay? The map is nice and bright. Let's take a quick look here and see if you guys offhand can just pick up something that may have been... See, it was like... It used to be a lot more than this. And then they got it down to this. If it was Alpha 18, I don't know. Maybe it was 17. Not too bad. Not too bad. But I think that they've they've gone down a little bit more. There's some of these perks that they've gotten rid of or combine them in to where, you know, as you step up like your perception, as you step up these levels, which you need to do as you go down, you know, if you want to get say lucky looter two, you need perception level two and we're only at one, but some of this might be tied in, in the, in here rather than down here. That's probably where they put the stuff. So perception Awareness, uh, dismember with rifles. Some of these things, headshots, dismember. 
Perception is a measure of your sensory awareness. Increasing perception raises the headshot bonus and dismemberment chance with spears, rifles, and explosives. Okay. Strength is increases headshot bonus, dismemberment chance with shotgun. <laughs> That's different. These are all things about dismemberment and headshot bonuses. Physical resilience, athletic prowess, headshot damage with intellect governed weapons such as robotic turrets and stun batons. That seems different to me. That seems different to me. Hmm. And they're calling the turrets robotics now. Maybe there's new turrets. Maybe. Oh, you know, that, that right there? That's an M2 Browning. Maybe they put, like, something like that in there. Craftsmanship perks. Advanced engineering. Okay. So, you can see what we got. And then we've got the books... So it's one and one and a third pages. Art of mining, automatic, batter up, brawler, fireman's almanac, lucky looter. I, I'm not seeing anything new here. Shaka Messiah, wasteland, tech junkie. Is that new? I'm not sure. That might not be new. It seems like this list here was maybe one or two shorter, but doesn't look too bad. So some, like I said, some of these things may have been combined. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of the same perks. Brawler, machine gunner, well insulated. Okay, we're doing good. So what I need to do is I need to get I need to get a better weapon. I need to get a better weapon. Recipes. Cotton seeds? No, cloth fragments. Let's make some cloth fragments while we're here. We got an engine. Maybe we could Maybe we could offer to drive the zombies to uh, to lunch or something. They won't attack us. Scrap that. There's that. Some oil. We'll just start putting some of this stuff away. You know, the, the basics that you get. I got three of those. I'm just wondering if maybe I should make some cloth. Can I make... No. You need to unlock this stuff. Light armor. Yeah, you're going to have to unlock that stuff. Padded boots. I can make a bandana. That's cool. A baseball cap. I like bandanas. Worn boots. Yeah, we're better off probably just finding stuff, you know? It's like no one really wants to wear stuff made out of cloth or plant fiber, right? We'll put on a bandana. That'll be good. Glorious. All right. It's almost time to go back outside. Okay, there's the nurse. We still got nurse. That dude's sleeping over there. Or is that another... That might be an... Okay, we've got or more ores now around. Let's see what's that giving us. Stone and coal. Okay, so we got stone and coal. That's giving us lead. Okay, that's cool. So you know, I there used to be ores like in the in the caves in the mines. They got rid of the cave system, and I think for good reason. It was it was uh, glitchy. It was glitchy for sure. It was definitely glitchy, but it was cool too, right? But I mean, it kind of sucked when you drove into one before you could actually pick up your vehicle. <laughs> that sucked. That wasn't the best. We're going to have to definitely venture into town and get ourselves something delicious and tasty. So what I'm going to try and do, like I've been doing with the last couple of seasons, is each episode will be a day, right? Each episode will be a day. And I know that you guys have been liking hour-long episodes of stuff like that, but, you know, 25, 30 minutes? I have it set to 30 minutes for uh, for a full day. And that'll be, I think that'll be okay. Look, we'll do the first couple. If it seems like it's, 
I know it's going to seem like it's too fast because you guys have been getting way used to long episodes, which is cool. But I like the day by day thing. That way I don't have to like say, oh, it's a, uh, you know, come up with some weird title for this. It's like it's day one. It's day two. It's day three. You know, that is a good enough title to say, oh, yeah, let's see what he's doing. Oh, shot her in the leg. Now, I do really did like the mechanics that they put in where you shoot him in the leg and they will limp down like that. It can stop him from coming at you for a second. Give yourself, maybe if you're running out of stamina and you're a decent shot, shoot him in the leg, you know? It's the only, it's the only like, you know, nice thing to do when it comes to killing zombies. The town looked pretty decent. I mean, it looks like a pretty... It looks like we have a, a big building up there. That might be a hospital. Oh, the hospital. We just got to find ourselves a gun, you guys. We got to find our... There. There's a new zombie lady. That's a new zombie lady right there. Headshot. Ooh, she's kind of quick. Oh, yeah. I gotta find myself at least a club or something. Oh, that's the top of the head. That's a new zombie. Hey, you know what I'm hoping for, maybe? Maybe some new kind of uh, semi-boss zombies. You know what I mean? Not necessarily a boss, but just the, you know, the bigger dudes that are tougher to kill. I really like the addition of the, what I call the beeper zombie. The dude who had like C4 on his chest. That dude who comes at you on uh, Blood Moons? Oh yeah, you like that, huh? Oh! That would be a percentage of headshot. All right. So we started with 50 arrows, 22 arrows. That's pretty good, 22 arrows. So have we got this little place here. We got wolves. We've got wolves already. That's scary. Seven o'clock in the morning. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll call that day one, you guys, because we're coming up at seven o'clock in the morning on day two. So anyway, you guys, definitely, I need a bunch of comments down below. Let me know what you think. All that kind of fun stuff. You guys have been doing great with interactions. Hit the like, Buto, if you did like it. Definitely join me tomorrow on day two.